All right, team, Coach Dana Cavalier here, and I wanna to talk to you today about your quit muscle. And when your quit muscle is stronger than your work muscle, there's gonna be some issues in terms of your overall performance and what it is that you're going to achieve. And, you know, coaching people in all different disciplines from uh, private equity to healthcare to tech to the real estate industry, I realized this, those that are the all-stars, the top 10%, they do the work because their work muscle is strong. They are super focused on where they're going, what they're doing, and what they are going to achieve. When I coach what I call amateurs, as opposed to the professionals that I was just talking about, you see the same things over and over again. High quit, high turnover, can't stick with anything, tell you they're gonna do something, but don't do it. Do it sporadically when they do do it. And ultimately they wonder why they don't get the result and they wonder why they cannot get to the professional level. And having worked with professional athletes my whole career, the ones that stay 10 years plus, they have a strong work muscle and they have a very, very weak quit muscle. Sometimes they go too hard. They go to the point where their body shuts down. And the same is true in the business world with executives, burnout, they push themselves to high, high levels and eventually they crap out if they don't train and prepare for those levels. But ultimately I will say this, it's always better to have a stronger work muscle than quit muscle. So test yourself, ask yourself, do I quit more than I push? And if your answer is yes, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be on the amateur team. All right, I'll see you guys later and I'll give you another lesson soon. See ya.